Hello, sorry I've not been getting much in the way of video for you guys lately. I've been very busy. Um, I'm driving bus now that school started, so that uh, gives me a lot less time. But tomorrow night, this whole pen will be emptied and off to the butcher and part of this pen, so we're going to thin out this flock quite a bit, which would be nice. Mabel's been growing, and I've been training her, We're taking a more uh, serious approach to training now, putting a little more effort into it. She's enjoying her little patch of shade there. But she's learning. She's learning to be a good dog. The key thing we're teaching her now is leave it. So she's learning to leave the hose alone. She's struggling with leaving the cats alone. She really wants to do the play with them. Right, Mabel? Yeah, you're a good girl. You're learning. She's learning to leave the ducks and geese alone. But again, it's all on leash training right now and just being with her and taking her into the pens and Over here we've got the new kittens. Oh, hello, Leona. Hello. And Frost, you both came. Hello, Frost. Hello, Leona. Well, aren't you guys getting friendlier? The mittens. Now, Mittens the kitten is not looking quite so kittenish anymore. Not next to these guys. But anyways. They're growing. They're adjusting nicely to the farm. And we've got our breeder flock. It's a little bit big right now. I'm going to thin out probably at the end of the month. Thin out my breeding flock to get it down to the exact birds that I want. I just kind of pulled all the best of the best, and then I'll, I'll sort them later. But they're doing good. The geese. I'm working on trying to get a gander for her, so she's not so lonely. I'd rather not breed her back to her daddy. Sorry for the bumpy ride, guys. I don't have a GoPro yet that uh, automatically gets rid of all the bumps from walking. All the goats are in the barn because they just got fresh hay and they love fresh hay. Nothing better than fresh hay. And here's the chickens. So that's a barn of elder hen. There's the other one. Back there you can see a, a pure buff pullet. See all my buff girls? They're crossed with uh, the dark lacy over there, so they picked up her lacing. I had some interest in purebreds, but nobody wanted these uh, cross color ones because that lacing comes through. So I picked up two buff pullets. And there's a barn of elder rooster around here somewhere. He's just hiding. But honestly, I'm, I'm quite happy with the, the chickens that uh, Copper and Lacey produced here. There's, I think, two girls in particular that are really robust. And I like that. I just got clippers for these Angora goats. So we're gonna try our hand at clipping them ourselves. Because that needs to be done. Because they are quite wooly. And they need a haircut before winter, right? Right? Oh, you must not be the tamer one. No? No, 
interest? No interest. It's Braveheart. Let's see who's in here. Everybody's in here. Look at that. These guys aren't just little kids anymore. Look at that. They're almost as big as mama. And this is what goats do. They like to be up on their hind feet to eat. So it's the, uh, the browsing tendencies. My Agora buck's hiding on the other side of the hay there. Where is, there he is. So everyone's doing fine here. Um, those of you that have been watching for a long time know that Sweetie there broke her front leg at the start of the summer. She's completely and fully recovered. Um, you wouldn't know it was broken. I don't think she remembers anymore either. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the farm today. to get uh, some video of these guys once they've had their hair cut because they're gonna look a whole lot different from that I tell you <laughs>